Over the next few lessons, we're going to be taking a look at how you can customize the look and feel of your Rocket Theme website using Templates Manager. And we'll take this step by step going through the various uh, tab options of the Templates Manager for this theme. We're going to be looking at the Lexicon theme uh, at Rocket Theme. However, most of the principles that we will show you in this video tutorial series will be applicable to practically all of the other templates that are available at Rocket Theme that are based on the Gantry 4 engine. All right, so if you are working with one of those templates uh, and are kind of stumped over some of the options in the Templates Manager, this little series uh, it will be applicable to you, regardless of whether you're working with the Lexicon theme or not. All right, uh, just a little maintenance before we get started. Uh, you remember last uh, lesson we were noticing that uh, there was an indication here that updates were available, but when we clicked through, there was nothing showing up here. Uh, now they are, and uh, it could be because I clicked on this little button here, Find Updates. So if you are finding that situation there where you're getting the little indicator that you have updates available, but when you click on it, you're not seeing anything show up here, just click on Find Updates and that should make them show up. And it's a good idea to keep these updated. And uh, I'm just going to go through that now. Basically, you would think that you should be able to just click on All and then hit uh, Update, but... Uh, for some reason, Joomla 3 seems to like you to do it one by one. So go through them one by one, click the box, and then go up to update. And each time you do this, just confirm that uh, the plugin update was successful. And go for the next one, update, and so on. I'll put you on pause while I update all of these. All right, so that should uh, make Rocket Theme much happier. And we can now go to extensions up here and drop down to template manager and click on our lexicon template and in this particular lesson we're going to take a look at the tab under style now on your screen if you're not seeing these presets available it's probably because you have them unselected if you'd like to take a look at the presets that have been provided by rocket theme just go up and click on your presets button and you'll see that you have available six different presets here that you can choose from to get started on your website. If you don't quite see them all, just slide your slider bar there across and you'll see the various presets that are available. And basically what uh, these do is kind of change the basic look and feel of your website as far as color scheme goes and the surrounding page. The colors of your text, for example, at different places in your website and you can see all of the things that are affected here as you scroll down in the various options of your style you can see that accent styles the page surround textures that are available and the header style the main body style the footer style and the text colors for each of these well if you keep your eye on that as you choose different presets you'll see that uh, much of this information will change and uh, you'll be able to start with various color schemes that uh, may be helpful as you get a kind of a feel for how these themes and templates work. But you will probably catch on quite quickly that it is really easy just to change these manually as well. And uh, that's what all of these individual settings are for. Uh, let's maybe click on our website here so that we can get an idea of uh, what it looks like by default. And let's maybe set this up so that we can see our sample website as well as have the control panel here so that we can easily switch back and forth as we make changes. So as we look at our website here, we can see that uh, there is uh, a certain kind of a texture in the background that surrounds the main central focus of our website. And we have various color schemes that are available, both in fonts and uh, the way buttons look the way text appears down here, and uh, special green text. Well, as we change our preset over here, maybe to this uh, option here, preset three, and then uh, hit the save button, and then go over and refresh, we see that our buttons have now turned green. From, from the yellow that they were, they're now green. And if we look closely at our surrounding um, pattern or texture here, we'll see that that has also changed as we have uh, hit the preset three. So you can try out the various presets, but as I say, it's probably just as easy to change them manually. 
Let's take a look at the logo first. We see it up here. It's the Lexicon logo up here. But ideally what you'll want to do is swap that out with your own personal logo or the logo for the organization that you're creating the website for. And the way that you do that is just go over to the option where it says type, click the little down arrow and choose custom. And that will allow you to upload your own custom logo. And uh, if we hit the select button, we are taken to Media Manager. And uh, if you are not quite sure how to work with Media Manager, you might want to take a look at some of the uh, tutorials that we have uh, posted on that. But basically, in this case, we want to scroll down to the very bottom if it's not showing. And this allows you to hit the Browse button, which takes you to the hard drives of your computers, where you can navigate to where you're keeping your logos that you want to upload. Now, the trick here is to get the right size. And uh, as we look here at the website, the space that is allowed for the logo is actually quite small on this template. Now, I think the way we're looking at it right here, because we have resized this, it has changed the actual size of the logo uh, spot, shall we say. So let's stretch this out to make sure we're getting the actual size of the website. And uh, here we get a visual representation of the space that uh, this particular template allows for the, the logo by default. And we can kind of judge the size the logo should be based on the visual we have here. And I would say maybe let's start with um, a logo that has a width of about 150 pixels and see how that looks. And uh, let's see what we have here already resized. Well, here's one that's 120 pixels in width. Let's give that a try and uh, just double click on the file and you'll notice that the file name now shows up beside the browse button and just hit the start upload button this will upload it to your server and now the next step is to uh, go to this inside slider bar now you have this one out here but we want to go to the inside slider and just go down and look for that file that we've just uploaded and then uh, select it by clicking on it once with your mouse and then going up and hit the insert button up here and that will load it in to uh, our template. And now if we save and go over to our website and refresh it, it should show up. Here we go. All right, now you could experiment with file sizes that are a little larger than that. And by the way, if you're not really sure how to resize your logo, we uh, will put up a tutorial on that, how you can do that in uh, Photoshop. And take that uh, EPS file that's probably been created by your graphic artist and turn that into a PNG file that's resized to the size that uh, works best with your template. And by the way, this template will allow for larger logos and it will just kind of reposition itself. In fact, I think, I believe there's ways to decide where you want that logo. For over here, for example, in the position, we can choose to have this logo anywhere in our website. Any position that you want to have that logo appear, you can point to any position in your website and that's where it'll go. Right now it's defaulting to header A and that's why it's showing up on the very left-hand side at the top. All right, uh, demo style, we won't worry about that. We've kind of shown you how to do that uh, in a little bit different way. The accent style, notice over here in our website that right now the green that is showing up in our website is reflected also here. But just to show you how easy it is to change that, just click on the color spot with your mouse and that opens up a color picker. And by using the slider bar here, we can uh, find a different color and also repositioning this little indicator here will fine tune the color that you uh, want to try out for your website. Let's see, like maybe just a little darker blue, maybe something like that. We can give it a try. And uh, the second accent color here for this particular template, I believe affects the color of some of the fonts, especially down here at the bottom. Right now we see they're black, for example. And if we were to change this just to to make it easy to know what we're changing it to. Let's change it to a funky red. And when you've got the colors that you want to try chosen, then just go up and hit the save button. And now we can go up, refresh our website, and we'll see that the blue now shows up on our website. And also down here, we've changed our text to the funky red. Now, as you work with different templates coming from Rocket Theme, 
the accent styles may affect different things in your template. And what you almost have to do the first time that you're working with a new template is go through and try different colors and then go over, refresh your site and see what has happened. We see the red is showing up here. And if we had an article to go to, let's see, we may see that the little print icons are now red. And so different things have been affected by that second accent color. I'd like to maybe try and find a, an article and see what it's done to an article. Well, we see that the main titles of articles are now red. So you can see that the second accent color is affecting more than just the text at the bottom of the home page. It is affecting uh, a lot of things through your website. And so as you work with a new template, just experiment with some of the different accent colors that you're given uh, access to and uh, find out how that affects your website as you look through it, as you look through the sample. Okay, now you might be looking at this and say, well, I thought we changed that to a blue. Actually, this is a different section of the website. We see down here that we have the ability to change the color of the showcase style, and this must be the showcase style. So just as an experiment, we can see what happens if we change this to a funky orange, maybe. And sure enough, we've changed that to our funky orange. So you can see how easy it is to change the colors of your website. Let's notice the next style option here, the page surround. And what that is referring to is the texture that surrounds the main portion of your website on this particular template style. Here it is here. And let's notice what happens as we experiment with the various presets. Let's maybe go to preset six and save that, refresh our website, and notice how the texture changes to kind of a very small tiled gradiated color here. But you're not stuck with the gray that comes by default on this template. We'll notice over here, we can change the color of that background. Let's change it maybe to to a blue, hit the save and refresh. And now we've got with these uh, various kind of gradiated blue tiles that uh, might appear at the bottom of your swimming pool. But we're not stuck uh, with that texture. We could try something else. Let's try preset two, hit save. And now it keeps the blue, but the texture is uh, completely different. It looks more like a kind of a shag carpet and again, you could change that to any color that you want. Also, in addition to uh, the th six presets of different textures that come with a template, you could uh, upload your own texture. And uh, so let's go to custom and show you how you can do that. And it may be that your client or the organization that you're working for says, we want you to use the same texture on this site as we are using on our main uh, website. Uh, can you please just kind of copy the same texture that we're using there? Same texture, same color. And here's how you can do that. Uh, some browsers will let you do this uh, and others won't. Um, let's use Firefox for this and just go to our uh, main website. And we'll notice that uh, on our website, we see this kind of gray tiled texture, kind of a weave look. Well, if you right click anywhere where this tile is showing up, this texture is showing up, and select the option View Background Image, well, you'll see that the, they've got a little square here that shows up. And you can right click on that and Save Image As. And once you have it saved, then you can go back to your Templates Manager, hit the Select button, and using your Media Manager, uh, like we did in, uh, a few moments ago, browse and navigate to where you saved that uh, little texture. Here it is here, I believe, this little PNG file. Notice it's only three kilobytes, but uh, the template tiles that for you so it looks like you've got one big, huge image. Uh, so just click on that and start our upload, navigate to it, click on it once, hit the insert button, and it shows up here. And let's save that and see what happens to our website. As we refresh, we now have the same texture at this website as we have on our main website at adra.ca. Notice that when you upload your custom image, uh, it's not going to be affected by your background color. Whatever you upload as a custom image, that's what you see is what you get. All right, well, you get the idea of uh, 
of how to change the various portions of your website with being able to change the background color, the text color for your header, your showcase style, your main body style, the bottom style, the footer style. And uh, if we were to scroll down and take a look at it the way it is right now, we see that it is transparent. We're, we're seeing the texture underneath that. And that's one good option, but you're not stuck with that. If you wanted to go and uh, fill that also with a color, let's try something maybe in the greens just for fun. Okay, that must not be the... Uh, the bottom style it must be the footer that we uh, need to change. Let's try that and try that again. Save. And <laughs> now our footer is that uh, funky green. And uh, notice that the text now would have to be changed to a different color in order to be able to read it. But you see how easy it is to adjust the colors of both the background and the font colors and uh, just completely customize your site. One more thing under style is the font settings. By default, uh, the template comes with its own font family that they've called Lexicon. But if you are not happy with that style of font or you're trying to match another website or your corporate font, well, you can easily, just by clicking the down arrow there, choose whatever font family that you would like to work with and also change the size. All right, well, I believe that that does it uh, for an orientation to Templates Manager, the Style tab.